Hey everybody, Kurt Zepp here. Yeah, I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but uh, I, I'm, I work full time and I just don't have a lot of time to make a lot of videos. I barely have time to image and process images as well. But uh, who knows, I might be retiring in a few years if all goes well, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Anyhow, while I was processing my latest image, which is M45, the Pleiades, I'm doing broadband and I want to do some HA imaging with it as well. So I've got my NBZ filter on my color camera just so I can pick up some of the hydrogen, but I'm still working on that. In the meantime, I decided to process my broadband data. And when I was doing the background extraction using Graxpert, I had a couple rookie issues. Most of you guys are aware of these issues and know how to correct them before they occur. But I decided to make a quick little video on them. And while I was doing that, I decided, hmm, well, I might as well make the video a little bit longer and I'll do a comparison between how Graxpert does the background extraction and using PixInsight's automatic background extraction and dynamic background extraction, both of which I used in the past. I'm Kurt Zapatello, and you're watching Astro Quest 1. Okay, folks, so here is my image after stacking it using weighted batch pre-processing. It's 575 92nd shots, so that works out to be about a little over 14 hours of data, and you can see there's a lot of gradient in it. So the first thing I did was I did the background extraction uh, using Graxpert, and Graxpert is actually... It could be a plug-in to PixInsight or Serial, or you can run it standalone. I have it as a plug-in under Toolbox. Just come over here and click on it. It opens it up, and well, here, I'll do it for you. Just so you know what I'm talking about. So I just set that. These are my parameters that I do all my images, and I click the Execute, and it'll give it a minute, and it'll open it up. Okay, and it just gives me this little icon for whatever and I load the image and that just happened to be the here it was the original image opens it up and you just come over here I leave it on smoothing 0.5 I'm not going to do a big explanation on Graxpert you can download it and there's several other videos that uh far better from than I can ever talk about. But anyways, I leave it at 0.5 and I just put calculate background and zip, 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 click, it does it. And you can actually just come back here and press original and process. Now this one doesn't look that great and for a very good reason, this is what I wanted to talk about. Notice up here, the edges on my image. And this is what I, what you should do. You should always crop it or if the if the after you do background extraction it does not come out really well, it may be because you didn't crop your edges in a little bit. So that's what happened up here. So let me close this and I'll show you my results here. So here's that original image using Graxpert, and here is the original image to begin with. So what I did next was I actually cropped this top portion off. And then I re-ran Graxpert, and you can see it did a much better job uh, overall, I think. Uh, however, if you notice down here, it's a little bit on the red side. That's because I probably should have done a little bit more cropping on this edge, too. And so I made another crop. So here's crop two. And I just took a small little edge off there, and then here's my second run of Graxpert. And there we go. So that's that's what I wound up with. So I think that looks really, really, really good. Okay, so the, the bottom line is, that's why I made this video, is you should always crop your edges a slight amount before you do any type of background extraction. I figured I might as well do uh, compare it to what I used to do for background extraction. 
So in PixInsight, the first type of background extraction I ever did was using automatic background extraction. So how that works, it's, it's really simple. And you would just take your image and you would just come over to process, uh, background, um, modern, modernization, and you automatic background extractor. You would just rock and roll. Actually, I'll do it on the better image here. Let's see, where is it? Crop two. So here's my image. I'll do the automatic background extraction. And what you should do is I, I come over here and it would be on none right now under uh, correction. You come over here and you put subtraction. I left all the defaults alone because I wanted to keep this really simple because that's what I do with Graxper. It's really simple. And I wanted to do a simple test with automatic background extraction. And here it goes. It does it real quickly. I'll even close that. And what it, for, it also makes a background. So let's see what it did for the background. And it definitely took a lot of crap out of here. So let's see what this looks like. <laughs> uh, so here is using background uh, automatic background extraction from PixInsight. Came up with this and it needs a lot of work, but let's compare that to what Graxberg came up with. And look at that. So. My, I mean, my, there's, it's no question that Graxper came out much better just from uh, the same thing. So I'm very happy using uh, Graxper. I also used to use dynamic background extraction, which gives you a lot more play and that's a little bit more advanced. It's also in PixInsight. So you just come over here, background modelization, dynamic background extraction. And the way to use that, I, I can give you a real quick Thing over here you want to come over to, you get this thing the first thing you gotta do is click on the image and the crosshairs appear and you can play around with these tolerances over here and this is where a lot of what you would do make it fine adjustments to uh, in order to get a good extraction you would also come over here to uh, this would also be like this where target correction you also want to put this to subtraction you could use division to other people I've seen do that and you can also play around with some of these values down here I'm leaving it a default because I want to see I want to make it quick and easy because back uh, because Graxberg was so quick and easy I wanted to do a quick and easy comparison that's why that's the beauty of Graxberg all right so let's uh come over here the next thing you got to do when you use dynamic background extraction you got to press generate and again you have these things you can play around with too and it put a bunch of these little stars in here where it's going to do some extraction. And what you would do is you would start clicking these things. You can put more things in, less things in, in order to get a more uniform extraction. But then around, then again, you're playing around with a lot of stuff. And it takes a long time before you get a really good uh, image. But let's see what this did just using it uh, as its default settings. I guess execute. Okay, and again, we'll see what type of stuff it took out. And it did a pretty good job. It took out a lot, extracted a lot of background noise. And let's see what we get. So this one looks a lot better than the automatic background extraction, but it's still really no comparison to the the image that Graxberg had. In my book, no, no, no comparison that Graxberg did a much better job. Okay, and... Since I'm still not done with this image, I really can't show you guys a final product. However, here is the latest, uh, what this looks like. It's, it's not too bad, actually. I got this one and I got this one. This is, this is originally after I did some stuff and then um, I did some more background uh, noise removal. It's not as sharp as this, this one, but I'm still not done with this one yet. So at any rate, this is what I've got so far this image but i've got a lot more work to do with it okay, okay folks well that's it i'm sorry for i did a lot of tongue twisting here uh, first time i made a video in a long time so i'm not really fluent but yeah i really like graxpert a lot and i would highly recommend downloading it it's very simple to use and it's my type of program uh, i've sort of been following in Queeve the Lazy Geek's footsteps. If you ever watch any of his stuff, he likes doing things really simply and really quickly. And uh, that's what this Graxberg feature does, in my opinion. And I, I know that uh, dynamic background extraction 
you can probably finagle it and, and make it really better. It might have a better image, but it's going to take a, an enormous amount of time. Whereas Graxberg, zip, zip, you can get it done and then you can do other processing. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.